March is Women's History Month, a designation that began more than three decades ago. During this time and throughout the year, the Department of Defense and its services honor the contributions of women serving in the military. We celebrate the richness and diversity of their achievements, achievements that date back to the Revolutionary War, where among other roles, women fought in combat alongside their husbands or disguised as men. A lot has changed since then. In 1993, Jeannie Levitt became the Air Force's first female fighter pilot. In 2008, Ann Dunwoody became the first woman in the United States military and uniformed service history to achieve a four-star officer rank. In 2014, Michelle Howard became the first female four-star admiral in the United States Navy. In 2015, Shea Haver and Kristen Greist became the first women to graduate from the Army's Ranger School. And in 2018, Michelle McCander became the first woman to lead a Marine combat unit. Marion Wright Edelman, Children's Defense Fund founder and president, said, you can't be what you can't see. The aforementioned pioneers have shown us what can be. They have left us a blueprint to encourage and empower the next generation of young women aspiring to be anything they want to be. As we continue to celebrate Women's History Month, I invite you to visit womenshistorymonth.gov to learn more about the vital contributions of women to our nation's history. I also invite you to visit defense.gov to learn more about the vital contributions of women to our nation's defense. Finally, I encourage you to make history. As I stated, the blueprint already exists.